I cannot wait any longer. It's time for the Brawl Talk. I've got incredibly high hopes for this update, and especially since what we've seen so far, it seems like it should be a really, really good one. Let's watch this thing for the very first time and see what's coming as well. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. The sneak peeks are right around the corner, as you guys know. Your boy always keeping you in the loop, man. But let freaking go. I already like what I'm seeing. Come on now. Oh, new brother, right off the get go. Is that a yo yo? Not a whip. What was I thinking? But I think we were on the. What the frick? Dude, these jump scares at the beginning are always so dang hard to follow. It's too much hype at once. Hype overload. <laughs> All right, let's see. Dude, I love the vibes. I'm such a fan of Halloween. Halloween's my vibe, dude. Oh, gosh. Be careful with Danny. He's important to us. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Oh, he's got axe in the head. <laughs> All right, Bizarre Circus. Loving it, loving it. Charlie. Oh, a new trio. Makes sense. She, okay, she only has one ammo. What the heck is going on? So she has a yo-yo. Let's see. Kind of like Carl, right? Doing decent damage. 1600. Right. What the freak? So that's like the game-changing mechanic. Okay, okay, okay. One sec. Charlie, chromatic brawler, fitting into her own family, starting it off strong, having a yo-yo for her main attack and like spider mechanics. So a spider brawler because of the mechanics. She has a basic attack really similar to Carl here. The yo-yo goes out and whenever it hits something, it comes right back, dealing 1,600 damage. And it looks like it has a pretty decent range there. Look at that. Smack in that height safe for 1,600 and coming right back and they also said the closer you are to something the faster you get your ammo back much like Carl so you have the potential for incredible DPS it's pretty much so exactly like Carl's but it can't hit like twice right once it hits it comes back which historically these one ammo brawlers seem to be really really good whether it's harder to balance or what have you like B Carl always been really good all right so that's looking like close to maximum range there that's not bad. Something really, really interesting going on here in this interaction. There are three things to hit, and I believe she hits all three. What the freak? So maybe some bounce mechanics, maybe a star power, maybe just the design for her basic attack. Possibly piercing on the way back. Pretty interesting. But what I'm interested in here is the cocoon. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the HP. That's broken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is a skill shot super, so you gotta be skillful in order to land it. But when you land it, that's devastating. 8,400 HP on the cocoon that your opponent has to kill or it decays slowly there. So not only does it waste ammo for the enemy team, but you're also making it a 2v3 and 3v3 game modes for a certain amount of time. I wonder how that interaction is gonna work out in like showdown. It would put people in like really awkward situations, right? But getting into the skins, we got amazing Charlie, 29 gems. Okay, looking a bit different, the cocoon. And rosy Charlie. Oh, the cocoon's a rose. Okay, I like that. Ooh! Yo, okay! She spawns spiders that have 2,200 HP. Yo, these are the type of hyperchargers that I want in Brawl Stars. Really unique stuff, right? Not just like bigger, super better, bigger, do good. <laughs> Nice. Okay, sick. Okay, <laughs> bigger, super, better. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Nice. That's sick. Basic attack added to super, so is that multiple damage? Yo. It's got double. Bro, okay. I think this is what... We kind of want when it comes to hypercharges. Unique traits, right? Not just bigger is better. I guess there are going to be certain brawlers that, you know, bigger, better, you know, main things from certain brawlers like Jesse's turret getting more HP, dealing more damage. It makes sense. But like this Rosa one, slowing people down within this radius, that's really unique. Lose is so sick. Activate that hypercharge, get an instant stun. Perfect for cycling supers, which is why Lou is incredibly good. Macy's is kind of confusing. It adds her basic attack to her super. Oh, okay, I see. A Another unique one. That's cool. Hopefully that charges super. And this Colette one, I think, might be my favorite, where she spawns like a clone of herself <laughs> and it deals the same amount of damage. And then spiders, dude. Come on. I think the Brawl Stars dev team might have took some feedback from the community when it comes to hypercharges. Or we just saw initially the first six hypercharges, like not 
really good representations of what they would be, but getting these unique effects is exactly what we want. I guess the only hang up that I could see some people having still is that, you know, it increases damage and stuff like that. But once more brawlers have hypercharges, I think it'll be way more balanced. But I'm liking this. We're on a very good track. If hypercharges, I'd like this more often in the future. Let's freaking go. They will all be released on the same day both in the shop and in star drops. Nice. Won't have the collector's bundle for coins anymore. Let's go. That's we'll so much better. Okay, we don't have the coin offers, like but we can wait, which that, I feel like free to play players are fine with doing. Yes, that's what I wanted so bad. I know some people aren't like crazy about cosmetics. The only reason they ended up buying it last update was for the hypercharge. So giving them this option, a much cheaper price just for the hypercharge is perfect. So much better in my opinion. Yes, free hypercharges. Okay, way easier. When you complete it, you get one random hypercharge and it could be any of the hypercharges. Oh, so it's random. We get one for free. I liked that brand new star drop for hyperchargers. That was cool. Is that Ryan? Oh, yeah, dude. That's my vibe. I love the creepy. Nice. Look at those animations as well. Dude, the skins are sick. <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> she shoots out balls. <laughs> Beach balls, it looked like. Okay, legendary skin. I'm liking it. You guys know Halloween's my favorite holiday. It's perfect. Oh, Halloween. Yo, Werewolf Leon coming back. Let's go. Definite fan favorite. Okay, sick. Okay, inspired by Witch Sally. I was going to say, it's basically the same skin. Animations are sick too. Witch Shelly is one of my favorite Shelly skins, so... I don't mind having one that's very similar. Supercell make skin, looking good. Lots of skins, baby. Shout out to my Indian viewers out there, absolute legends. That looks sick. Nice. Little brother. <laughs> that's sick. Look at that Frank skin. That's dope. Look at those animations. Oh my goodness. Look at all. Oh, this. Okay, lavish Lola. Very cute, guys. I love that skin. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. I need more. Awesome. Color variations. Honestly, very sick. Very sick. Oh, let me see my boy. Let's go. Look at those animations. <laughs> no way. Bro. I think this is the free skin that we can get for the world finals. Why? Let's go, free Mortis skin. You guys know I tried to make a cheat cheat for, if it's for my boy Mortis, I'm going all in. Oh, it feels so good whenever Mortis gets a skin. I know he's not everyone's favorite or anything like that, but just getting something that for like a brawler that I absolutely adore just makes well, the update make even more cool to me at least. Look at that super hockey puck. <laughs> I've always been a fan of the goofy Mortis skins. Clubs. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Everything on. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, you got time to... You got some time to make up your mind, whatever you guys want to do. Whoa. Yo. This looks sick. Look at it. Dude. Oh, I'm so excited. What the heck? Look at these game modes. They're completely new. Classic, unlimited power, 18 tickets left. There's a lot to take in. Look at this map. That's amazing. The more rewards, and they keep getting better as you fill your peak. Let's so go! Look at rewards, that thing, that's sick! Figures. Okay, so we want that thing maxed out. It's full. After you use all your tickets, you can still help a club mate in need to win some games. That's amazing. What's in it? Come on! Coins, okay, okay, okay. And also, Yo, it's kind of like Mega Brawl Boxes. Oh, that's cool. Being the number one contributor, you get more. How many star drops do you get though? What'd they say there? Oh, open all nine. So would this be including this? 10 star drops? That's not bad. Plus some progression. I wonder what it would add up to. Some decent coins. I'm sure the way they organize this is to be equivalent to what we would get from like the old club league system, right? We're getting these base coins and stuff like that and token doublers, bling, power points. That's sick. This is like very reminiscent of Brawl Boxes, right? Mega Brawl Boxes, this giant thing where we can get some crazy stuff and some random fun with the star drops. That's sick. I love this pig. Mr. Pig, I'm happy. 
I like you. <laughs> it's cute too. Let's go. So much more fun than the old system, I feel like. Love that as well. Yes. Very excited for this. Exactly. It's gotta be fun, dude. I want it to be fun. Whoa. Look at all these new game modes. <laughs> Is there four? I think I saw. Okay. Quicker matchmaking. That's nice. I don't mind that. Cool. Yo, I'm so excited for this thing. I need to see this. Whoa! That's interesting. Instant overtime. Unlimited <laughs> power. You get showdown power Dude, cubes power cubes in normal game modes. We defeat enemies. No, modifier no modifiers. First have That's sick, defender. dude. Sure I need to get in the club ASAP, bro. And also added the ability to share That's amazing as well. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so giddy right now. Everything is good. Everything is good. I love the game modes. I love the game modes so much. Just the system in general. This mega pig is awesome. Being able to work towards this like mysterious random goal, I think is really, really important where people, everything is designed beforehand with club league system before where you knew the outcome. It was kind of stale. It was boring. You grind it out. You know, it's going to be transferred into this amount of power points, this amount of coins, but this is exciting with game modes being way more exciting than before. These random game modes are so sick. It's the fun element that I think deserves to be in a thing like this, a social game game mode with your club mates. It should be about fun. It's reminding me a lot of like special event game modes on the weekends where it's just all about fun, like a unique game mode experience. It's so cool, dude. Big fan of this implementation. By far my favorite thing of the update so far. Brawl Stars World Finals. I'll definitely give a little bit more of my thoughts about this update at the very end, but World Finals in Sweden, I'll be there, people. Hopefully, you can get that Mortis skin for you there. Heck yeah, let's go. Get those tickets if you guys are interested in going. Only in this update, we are adding a 25-day login calendar to the game, so you can collect a new reward. 26 days? Only happens once a month. So the calendar... Oh, okay. So it happens once a month. ...you are missing from the club shop. Gotcha. Based on your previous club league rank. The Interesting. The rank. Dude, this update Present is fire. Present, Present pleasure's back. I'm in love with this update so far, dude. Come on now. Cool, cool. Skins. Awesome, awesome. Good stuff. Perfect. Amazing. We like that. Nice. It's one of the better skins, I feel like. The animations are sick. <laughs> yeah, get the get the free pin if you haven't yet. Heck yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Bro, as I've been playing this game as long as I have, the elements that I enjoy most in any update are these game-changing ones. Things that are gameplay focused, not necessarily just new brawlers every single time and how hype they are. This new revamp to Club League is burning something inside me. It is getting me so excited for the future of Brawl Stars. Just that fun element. We need something to mix up the monotony, these fun game modes, these randomness game modes that is a different approach to Brawl Stars in its entirety. I love it and I hope that it goes well because that just gives them that much more potential to add more of these unique game modes, right? It's sick, dude. By far my favorite implementation of the update, but on top of that, so much amazing things. You guys should let me know what you're thinking. I know we only got one brawler here in this update, but I don't think that matters. I have to say this has to be one of the most hype updates I've been a part of at least this year since the removal of boxes. This is amazing. Let's freaking go, dude.